In Merlin, before a user can use the integrated development environment, the IBMI needs to be configured. To do this, uh, you need to go into connections and have defined uh, an inventory for the hosting that you're going to work with, the credentials that you're going to connect to the IBMI with, and this would need to be like an administrator on the IBMI, and then define a template which associates that inventory and credentials together. So now that you have the template defined in Merlin, we are going to run some actions on that template. So we're going to click the Run button. This will bring up a list of actions available. In order to run the IDE, each of these needs to be run and starting from the top. To run an action, you select the action and click Run. This is actually starting Ansible and is running an Ansible playbook on the IBMI. So in the dialog that appears, you will need to click the refresh button to see what is happening on the IBMI. You can click refresh until the script finishes. So the script will finish when you see this play recap. Uh, there'll be a bunch of numbers here. Um, important ones to note are whether or not there was any failures. So the first one enables Ansible on the IBMI. The second one validates some PTFs that are on the IBMI that are required by the development environment. Third one installs a certificate on the IBMI and configures the admin 5 Liberty server. The fourth one sets up the IBMI development environment with some open source packages that are required. The fifth one installs RCAD tooling. So when running each of the playbooks, you just click refresh on the item until you see that play recap at the bottom. 